guess we could call this video triumph and tragedy. <laughs> we have got uh, into late summer here in our little container garden. And so we've had a few triumphs and tragedies. I wouldn't call this one a, a complete tragedy. He was supposed to be a big boy tomato. And I said, I don't know what his idea of being a big boy is, but he just gave off some little small tomatoes. They've been tasty, but they have not been big. And he is looking kind of yellow right now. So he does have a new, does have a new blossom up there, um, right there. But we'll see what happens. I had another tragedy, I had a varmint get out here and dig up one of my sunflowers. I only have two that have made it so far. So it was laying there, uprooted, roots and all. So I have taken it and put it in another container over here, hoping it recovers. We will see about that. This has sort of been a triumph and tragedy in one pot because we planted a nasturtium and it did not come up, but we had a volunteer marigold to appear and it's doing quite well. This is our other little triumph for now, our little sunflower that has made it. And our poinsettia still thinks it's the tropical rainforest out here and, and it's living and loving it. So he should be really pretty by Christmas. <laughs> and then, as I said, we're getting into late summer. This zucchini squash had a um, something get a hold of it. I don't know if it was a, a vine borer or just a combination of a lot of wet weather and the leaves got heavy and started laying on the ground. I've cut him back several times hoping he would come back and he will get um, these little blooms on him and I'll think maybe he's going to recover but I don't believe he is so he's he's probably more of a tragedy right now but we can replant this bed and something else maybe for fall so what are your ideas? What should we do? Should we put some more bush beans in here? Maybe another squash? I wouldn't mind to have a pumpkin, honestly. So I may look into that and hope hope for the best there. We've still got some good looking basil over here. Our basil has been triumphed. We have uh, a pepper. Um, I was bragging on this the other night that I hadn't had any issues with this little pepper. Uh, and it seemed to be strong, but I did have a um, stem of it fall off and had a little baby pepper on it so I got the pepper and I harvested the seeds out of it it wasn't too big but we have a triumph also because we have another big pepper and he's probably ready to pull today or tomorrow so we'll get him soon and our peas have made their appearance so we have little pea pods on here so our little peas are appearing so that's exciting uh, another beautiful basil plant here our marigolds are still you know um, putting out here they've done really well our rosemary some of our basil and our rosemary we're gonna have to get in and and uh, and dry that some more we've got a little baby bell here he's cute he's growing this um, cherry tomato plant is giving us a whole lot more uh, tomatoes that are ready to go. We have got some more beans down here. Um, a few, maybe we'll get a handful. I've looked, might get a handful today of beans. Um, this little basil here, I think he's trying to go to seed. We're going to have to do some more with him. I'm waiting on my sweet potatoes. They say to harvest those between uh, 100 to 150 days and it's been day nine, 92 on them so we might have to wait just a little longer before we see if they've done anything this is a container that i moved my poor little sunflower to that got dug up by the roots and i don't know this seems to be the container that everything goes to die <laughs> so i hope that's not a bad uh, thing for this little sunflower i hope he can recover and come back but we'll see anyway um tragedy i love sunflowers so we have our romaine lettuce still looking pretty good over here looking pretty good we're back up here on the happy little hill as i call it we've got our little butternut squash still doing good up here got some blossoms on him a little bit 
and then our new yellow squash so I just looked down here a minute ago and see Ta -da, look at the babies it won't be long so another triumph yellow squash I'm beginning to love them <laughs> and there's our other little butternut squash he's still doing good here's our famous great producing yellow squash and as you can see right off the bat he's still producing um, squash so there's parts of him that are fading and and kind of looking uh, worn and yellow and see there's a there's a culprit right there I don't know if you can see him a squash bug I'm gonna have to get out here and spray our dawn water again keep after them they're really um, they're really at work this time of year they're really um, but I've been blessed that I haven't really lost a lot I've heard a lot of people that has had their whole plants devoured by those things so uh, got another little one in here that uh, I'm letting grow a few more days that's just the blossom on the end of him there where it's died back so he's doing okay and so I definitely wouldn't call anything about this squash a tragedy because he has really really produced a lot and it's real thick in there now our cucumber I think he looks kind of poor right now he he looks like he's just about done but I'm not going to call him a tragedy at all but you can see he's this is just something normal that happens when they get just about to the end of their growing span uh, production I've heard so I think this is all normal I still have a few cucumbers on him that um, I might be able to still get so he still has a few I'm giving him a few more days just to see what happens with those and I'm sure by now I have not counted up but I think this one plant probably in um, about a month and a half's time one plant has given over 50 cucumbers I'm sure by now maybe maybe over 60 by now I'll, I'll have to count them up but that's not a bad return for one plant and definitely if you're just you know supplementing your family meals and salads in the summertime that that's that's great we've been able to bless our neighbors with some and other people that love them and um, so we've learned a lot about them and it's been fun to come out here and play hide and seek with them and all those good things As a matter of fact speaking of hide and seek there's there's another one so um, again I think his energy is just about gone so I don't think I'm gonna get any more cucumbers off of him but he's he's done well and we've got a few more little tomatoes over here that's still producing our little um, tomatoes so we'll see he he was supposed to be another big tomato that didn't get very big so I'm not really understanding why those didn't get bigger uh, and we've got you know a few more little cherry tomatoes up here so and over here we've got some it's kind of hard for me to see out here but there's some so anyway just a quick little garden update and tour I think uh, overall there's been more triumphs than tragedies but uh, again it's been fun learning uh, and and I'm still learning and it's it's a very rewarding thing to do and uh, it's it's been a blessing to to us this summer oh my goodness look guys oh you gotta see this with me <laughs> Look at the cucumber. He's climbed the fence into the squash and he's been hiding there. Look at there. Oh my goodness. He's just been waiting there to, to finish off our video. <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess we'll give him, <laughs> uh, make our exit right there. So we'll talk to you later. Hope you have a blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.